Hey guys, it's Olympus the Loomer here. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make this Lumigurumi Christmas tree. Um, this is my original design and I'm super happy with how this turned out. And yeah, this is what we are going to make today, this Christmas tree. And without further ado, let's get started. Before we start, I just want to say sorry guys for the background noises. It's currently raining here and where I live. So I'm sorry if you hear some raining noises. But yeah, let's just proceed to the materials that you're going to need to make this Christmas tree. So the materials that you are going to need are any type of hook, a stitch marker, and some bands as well. So for the green here, I'm going to use that for like the Christmas tree itself. This burgundy here, I'm going to use that for the tip of the tree. Like so. And for this white one, this darker green or teal one. And for this jelly red, I'm going to use that for this whirls. Also, um, these beads are optional. If you don't have beads, you can do it with bands. But, in today's tutorial, I will not um, be doing them. I will not attach beads to it. I will just do this swirly things. But yeah, I will still show you guys how to do it with beads or bands. But in this tutorial... I'm not going to finish that. I will just cut through that then start with this really things. I hope you got that. But yeah, I'm again, I'm only going to do the swirl things for in this tutorial, but I will still show you guys how it's made, like how you put on the beads. And also if you don't have beads, you can use bands for that as well. So yeah. And then lastly, you are also going to need some stuffing. So these are all the materials that we are going to need to make this sand, uh, Christmas tree. And without further ado, let's get started. Oh, I forgot you guys. Also, you are going to need yellow or whatever you want this tip color to be. So that's just like the star in the Christmas tree. So you're going to need some yellow. But yeah, let's get started. So to start this Christmas tree, we are going to use um, yellow bands. So just grab your yellow bands. Only a few. You're not going to need a lot. And first thing that we are going to do is a magic ring of three stitches. So I hope you guys already know how to do a magic ring. Because I'm just going to be spontaneous in this whole video. I will still explain things though. But yeah, let's make a magic ring with three stitches in it. So first, you grab a band and your hook as well. And you wrap that to your hook two times or three times. So that's one and two. Now you have three loops on your hook. Then afterwards, you are going to put three bands to this cap band one at a time. So slide this cap band onto that band. Reclaim the other end. And put this right side band over this one on the left. And that's one stitch. Go back to your cap band and do two more. So grab a band, slide it only, only to the cap band. And now you have three loops. You are going to put this two right ones over this one on the left. So... Like that, and go back in for your last one, aka your third stitch. So just doing the same thing. And I really hope you don't hear the rain sounds, guys. Like, it's it used to be so sunny in the morning, but now in the afternoon it's raining. So, yeah. Make sure... No okay, enough of the talking. I have three stitches now, and to count that, we are going to start with our hook. This is one, this is two, and this is number three. You can now take your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. Now we can get rid of this yellow band, but still we are going to use this 
because we are gonna wrap some on top to make it look thicker. Yeah, grab your green bands. You're not gonna need a lot, though. And as always, I'm going to put the band count in the description box below, so... Next row is going to be an increase around with green. I don't know, like, this is kind of neon green. It shows in the camera, but in real life, it's a bit darker. But yeah, let's just get started with the increases around. So go to your first stitch. Go to your first stitch. It's not in focus. There you go. Grab uh, an increase is putting two bands one at a time in one stitch. So this is my first band. And since we are doing a color change, we want to pull it through everything. Reclaim the other end. And slide. Go back into the same stitch. For our increase. And just do a normal stitch like we always do. Like that. Go to your second stitch and still do an increase. And until we reach our C clip. And it's getting dark too, so I better be quick. So I'm done with my increases, you can now remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. Now you should have 6 stitches but I'm not gonna count that. Next row is going to be a single and an increase. So uh, 1 in the first stitch. Oh this one is not a stitch, that's from, that's a part of the stitch because we did a slip stitch. So this is 1. Increase, 1, increase, 1, and increase. So, go to your first stitch. So, first stitch. And do 1. So, single. Go to your second stitch. And do 2. So, 1 band at a time. Increase. So that's one, go back into the same stitch, and increase. One in this next one, and an increase to the next, until we reach our C-clip. Remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that is on your hook. Now, you should have a total of 9 stitches. So, uh, next row is going to be a single row around. So, we are doing 1, 1, 1 all the way until we reach our C-clip. So, just a single row around and still we are going to end up with 9 stitches. So... Just one row around, one band to each of the stitches. That's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and this band with a C clip on is our ninth stitch. And I hope my voice is loud now <laughs> because I get so many comments saying that my voice is super low. <laughs> they barely could hear anything, but yeah. <laughs> Next row is going to be two stitches and an increase. 
So single, single, increase, single, single, increase, all the way around. Single. Single. And increase here. So one, and go back in for your second one. That's an increase. Two, single again. I'm just gonna move my bands. Oh, two singles. So this is one. One, and then increase. And then single, single, increase. Single. Oops. Single. And increase. And you should have 12 stitches now. Next row is going to be a single row around. So one, 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 all the way until we reach the band with a C clip on. And it's getting darker. <laughs> So, I'm gonna count, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and er, the b and the band with AC clip on is stitch number twelve. So, next row is three single and an increase. Oops. So. One single, 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 increase all the way around. So three singles and an increase. So this is one, two, three, and an increase. Increase. Single, 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 and increase. And after this, we are gonna have a total of 15. So, single, single, single. And increase. And after this, we are going to do a uh, single row around. So every after we increase, we do a single row around. So it's getting dark. Um, so this is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Remove your stitch marker, 
and put it to the band that is on your hook. It's getting darker. So now you should have something that looks like this so far. Our next row is going to be a 4 single and an increase. And we are gonna end up with 18. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and an increase. Do it again until we reach our C clip. And increase. Remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. So uh, after that, we are going to do a single row round. And I'm sorry guys, it's getting dark. I don't know why. It's still 4 in the afternoon. But yeah, I'm just gonna make this quick. Probably continue this tomorrow, but that's okay. So single row round, and after this we still have... Uh, 18 stitches. It's one. The show must go on. <laughs> Two. Three. I'm finding a spot where, like, the lighting is good. But I can't. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. I don't know why in the camera it looks dark. Like in real life, it's there's still like sunlight left, only a little bit though. But yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. So. After we do our single row, we are now going to do single and decrease. So, a decrease. Oh, here we go. There's some sunlight. I could probably finish this today. Yay. So, single and decrease. So, a decrease is combining two stitches together to form one stitch. So, the front loop of the f first stitch and the back loop of the other and stitch them together. So that's what we are going to make. So, single on the first one. Single. And then decrease. So, front loop of the first one. And back loop of the other. So that's a decrease. I'm gonna show you that one more time. So. Single. And decrease. So front loop of the first stitch and second loop of the other, I mean back loop. And combine together. And do that all the way until we reach our C-clip. So single. Decrease. Wow, it shined. <laughs> it's not dark anymore. I don't know how that happened. But after this, we are going to stuff. I'm so talkative, I should stop talking because someone says 
stop with the awkward talking so stitch decrease but yeah I'm trying to be less talkative in my videos stitch and a decrease then after this we are going to stuff it and we should have 12 stitches so grab your stuffing I have my stuffing in here and we're just going to stuff it not so like stuff it only like so that it gives shape we're not gonna put a lot of stuffing because over stuffing can like make the holes of like the stitches go big and then it will look bad well that's just my own opinion yeah i still need more stuffing So I have still a lot of stuffing. So we have this old pillow that we don't use anymore. And we just dumped at our like storage room. We don't have a storage room but we have a underground. I don't know what you call that but yeah we have this room and I saw that pillow and then I was running low pillow at that time. So I decided to rip it apart then I saw oh this is some stuffing. I can use this so yeah. <laughs> I had some stuffing now. I have a whole like the biggest Ziploc bag there is. I have one that is full. So that's fun. So I think that's enough of the stuffing. Oh, it's dark again. If I put my hands, it gets dark. But if not, it's not dark. <laughs> but yeah. After this, we're just going to decrease, so we are not going to use um, green bands anymore. We are going to switch with our brown bands. I'm just going to take this green band and replace it with my brown bands over here. So, we are going to decrease around until we reach our C-clip and we are going to end up with 6 stitches. And it's dark again. So yeah, just a good time to end my Christmas tree. And I'll probably finish tomorrow doing the decorations. Well, decorations. But yeah, decrease around. Front one and back one. And pull this through everything since we're doing a color change. And decrease all the way around. This one looks brighter, so decrease, just decrease around till we have. I mean, we reach the end. We're not gonna close it yet. And if you're hearing some rain noises, guys, I'm so sorry. Like it's raining hard. Hope the rain stops as soon as possible. Yeah, I reach the end and just remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. Oh, wow, it's really dark in here. But after this, we are going to do a single row of um, brown around. So still, we are gonna have um, six stitches. So it's getting dark, but I don't want to use um, my flashlight, like the flash of my camera. Oh, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Wow, it's so dark. Five. And six. After this, we can take our C-clip off and just decrease till close. So I just do one decrease and pull a band through everything. And just slip knot. And then we are going to put that slip knot inside. So... And we're done with our Christmas tree. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for the 
ornaments and the des decorations. So hey guys, I'm back. I know I already said I'm gonna finish this tomorrow, but the rain stopped and there's light now. Look at that. There's light now, oh my gosh. So I think I'm just gonna continue this, so that's fun. But yeah, so we have made our Christmas tree already. So we have our Christmas tree done now. So we can kind of fix it. Wow, there's so much light. That's cool. And, okay, as you can see here on, like, the yellow part, it's thick because I did some cap bands on top. So grab your yellow bands, preferably, preferably four of them, and do two at a time. Wow, it's... Ah! I like this. There's so much light. And yeah, grab two bands and just wrap it twice on your like fingers and just put it on top like so and do the same thing. Wow. It used to be so dark, but now there's sunlight. Thank you God. Thank you Lord. Wow. But now you have that. So that's the star. That's how I did like the thick kind of looking star. I did some cap bands. And I told you guys um, these um, like ornaments here, like the beads are optional. But still I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I'm gonna demonstrate that using bands first. So I have my Christmas tree here. So you have grab your green color, your tree color. And just pick any other, like, color other than green. So I have two reds here. And what you're going to do is, um, put it on your hook. And wrap once, like that. And grab all the loops and, oops, sorry. Um, twist it up again, like that. I mean, wrap. And then green band. Wow, so much sunlight. <laughs> And slide this red band onto that band. Like that. That's how you do it. On using bands. But if you have beads, you're just going to thread a band through the hole. And yeah, for the attaching, you're just going to pick random spots. For example, it's here. And then I'm just going to grab one end and the other end slip knot. And I don't want to put this inside because there's a tendency that this might get okay, unravel. So what I do is like open the hole up a bit and like kind of like putting it to the uh, beaded or the band. So like that. I hope you know what I mean. But again, so I have my like the tail of the slip knot. You're gonna like open it up a bit and you're going to put this red band to this green band like that. So that's how you attach the bands and beads if you're using them. So that's that. So I'm just gonna remove this because I'm not going to use them. But yeah, that's what you're going to do around and pick some spots and just put wherever you want your like ornaments or lights to be on your Christmas tree. So I hope that was understandable. <laughs> but now I'm just going to do like the swirl things. Wow, it's... Wow. All I can say is wow. But yeah, I'm just going to do the swirl things. The swirl things. Okay, I'm gonna start with green. I'll, I'll probably show you guys how to do it in green. So what you're going to do is, so uh, we have our yellow here and we are actually going down a stitch right after the yellow. So for example, this one over here, so yellow and a stitch below it. So, I mean, yeah, so it's a, the yellow. So, wait. Yeah, it's the yellow. And then grab a band and slip stitch. And we're just so we're just going down. So my trail is here. 
so wherever it lands on that's where you want it to be but if you want it to be fun then you can do it wherever you like it to be it's up to you and okay so go to your next stitch I mean yeah and just pull through a band and stitch that's what we are going to do all the way until we reach the bottom of the tree then we are going to slip knot at the bottom and hide it there as well and I hope you guys like got the point for like when you're using the beads or bands as the ornaments yeah I'm just trying to do it this way so that like it's a two in one tutorial but yeah I think this one looks prettier but yeah I can't believe too that there is some light now but yeah I'm sorry for that dark clips it was raining so I'm sorry for that so I'm at the bottom here so what I, I do is just put it pull through some stitches and slip knot and then I'm gonna hide it inside the tree like that oh my slip knot this brown slip knot is poking up for some reason so I'm gonna hide that but yeah that's one swirl done now oh, my next whirl so here uh, nope here so again to your yellow stitch and stitch down oh I'm gonna change color now though you can go away now green I'm gonna switch with my yellow I mean white I should probably like stop when it was dark and continue here oh no but I still hope that you saw that guys what I was doing yeah nature we should respect nature for that and just the same thing as we did on this green one just going to go down wherever our hook lands to and stitch 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 and also the reason why I usually film at the afternoon is um, I charge my phone like at 12 or one yeah one then it gets full on like three to four so that's that but yeah I'm still doing some stitches so again wherever your hook lands to um, to the stitch that's where you are going to do your swirling things so yeah and this is my end, so I'm just gonna slip knot and hide the tail on our tree. And that's how it looks now. Now I'm going to get my red because it's red turn. It's red start. Yay! <laughs> but I hope you're like under you understand like the process so far if you're making it because that's what I want and I want the best for you guys so yeah again find a yellow stitch and this is our last yellow stitch I believe can't find it oh, here it is but it's it doesn't have to be in the yellow stitch though you can probably like stitch it with the green ones but it looks better like from the top but yeah, just doing red. And wherever your hook lands to, that's where you are going to stitch. Oops, I'm wrong. That was wrong. I want to be in the middle of these two increases, not to like one of the sides. That it has some space in it. We all need some space sometimes, so yeah yeah where uh, so you can really know where to go next because of these like like these trails like these 
and they're like forming like that it just there was a lightning guys I didn't know if I caught that on camera oh my gosh but yeah so the next stitches look at that like that you know like these trails here so that's like our mark and we're going to put our talk through those and I can't believe I'll be able to finish this in just one day I'll probably edit this later and post it right away because that's me but I hope you're having fun guys I'm so boring and I don't like that I don't like my viewers to watch a pretty boring video but once you're at the bottom oops you're going to slip knot and after you slip knot hide the tail and I want to add more swirls so I might come back but yeah that's just how you do like the swirl things again you can I already showed you guys how to do the uh, attaching of like these ornaments so you can do that I think that looks cool and this is my swirl tree I'm gonna be back and do some more swirls so we'll see you guys in the next clip um I have made all the swirls that I want so it's a total of six so two of each color so here is my Christmas tree and I hope your Christmas tree is good as well I hope it looks good and yeah this is our tutorial for today if you enjoyed watching this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't um, comment down below what tutorials or video requests you want me to make and if you make one don't forget to tag me on Instagram I'll put up a link in the description box below this has been Olympus the Loomer. See you guys next time. Bye.